And we're back again. When we last left our hero, we were... Yes, we had just uh, been um, fixing some more seaweed. And now we are planning on um, getting some more iron basically, because we are definitely running out. Uh, we're running out of copper as well, but there's, well, when we fix this iron, we should hopefully fix some copper as well. So, more landfill. We'll basically start expanding a bit up here. Because we need room for this huge thing. Let's put it... There, yes. So... Yeah. More landfill. Always more landfill. And hopefully once we have fixed this new approach for iron, um, we can fi also fix some more landfill after that oh please give me more more sand I think I can actually shut these off again because we have, do have plenty of stone so let's focus on the sand How wide is this thing? Okay, two more. And it seems like we do have to push one step further north. Okay. Should not be too impossible, I guess. Just need a bit more landfill. One step there and two steps there and we're almost at our goal. Now the problem will be here for a bit at least that we're gonna need some more belts uh, in order to get our seaweed up here. So here we will be using this recipe seaweed to raw coal now let's see which direction we should put this in i think this is i don't know we'll get back to that so how are how is our iron doing the answer is, it's not, because we don't really have any. Well, we do have a little bit of that, which I guess will be enough for now. It's not like we have any choice. So, let's see, how much is it that I will need? Well, I think I basically just need a couple of inserters, maybe. And yeah, pipes. We're definitely gonna need pipes. And most importantly, landfill. There we go. We have, we do have some landfill. So we're gonna need a bit more space in this direction, essentially, because what I want to do here is to put down one of those and more of those. But in order to do that, we need, you guessed it, more landfill. Luckily, we get quite a bit of landfill, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's see, I think I want one there. Then I want a chest there. 
and here comes the magic. We want a furnace there. Yes. This is good. We want a belt there and essentially we want inserters. We will be taking items out from here, out from there, in there. Because here we will be transforming coke into... No, not coke. Raw coal. Raw coal into coal and here we will have Coal into coke. Yes. And let's see. Let's do it that way. Which means that I do want it to be that direction. And here I kind of want the low quality pipes because I really don't have any iron right now. And let's see. Do we have... Um, Yes, we have that one. Okay. Good. Even though I would like some more. I... Yeah. I think these gas vents are pretty expensive in terms of iron. Of course. But luckily once we have this... Um, once we get this process started... Iron should no longer be a problem. Keyword should. Naturally. Oh damn, we really have... We're really getting quite a bit of landfill. That's great. So somehow... We're also gonna need to... Uh, get this tar from over here yeah, Over here Huh Almost too easy What's the catch? Well, of course this thing we want to move this one eventually, but We're not quite there yet basically So we do want some underground pipes which is gonna be an issue because I can't make underground pipes of the bad pipes I have to make real underground pipes uh, so actually yeah let's do that we're just gonna move things we're just gonna move things up here so that we don't have to use any underground pipes. Oh, great, now I'm destroying pipes only to rebuild them again. Doesn't make much sense, but let's do it anyway, because it's the easiest way to make sure everything is moved. Ah, there we go. So now we have quite a bit of space here. But naturally, we need about six, seven. Yeah, just a few more pipes over there. And that one goes there, this one goes here, this one goes there. And we will have an inserter there. We do have a bit more landfill, which we will use. And then we will take this out here. And yeah, this should be good. So essentially, our iron will... No, our iron will end up here. And here we will have some fuel and stuff. Oh, great. If in case you are wondering, that was my notifications, not yours. I guess you heard that noise. 
But now I've muted that. Always fun streaming. You never know what sounds might show up. So, let's see here. Oh, wow. Fuel is definitely not a problem at the moment. Okay, let's put in the last pieces of our scrap copper. No more scrap copper. So now we have to make sure that we get enough of this. Oh my god, this is gonna take a while. Uh, you know what? I think I will just move these things manually up here for a while. Uh, because I kind of need the iron that I get from this process. And of course you need some fuel. Let's fix that. No, wait, you don't need fuel. You need power! Must have power! And let's see here. Yes, I will just be moving these things around manually for a little bit. Until we have our first processes going here. Could create these chests though, because I do have wood. Actually, now that I think about it, how much wood do we have? 105. It's not a lot, but... Should actually be sufficient to get some process started here. Three more of those, okay. Uh, so let's put in that wood over here and steal a little bit of that. Because this is going to yield quite a bit of coal, which we will use there. Which we will give us some iron oxide. Which should basically give us some iron. So, let's see here. Can we use some of these? Yes. Let's remove this. And move this production a bit. I hope I'm not running out of steam. Now should be good. For a while at least. And now, look at this. We have ourselves... Yes, we're getting a lot more tar here now. Which is nice. Oh, awesome. I have more... Um, more inserters. So let's take a look here. We have a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Let's go get some more seaweed. Lots of seaweed. Put it in there. I hope we have enough electricity for this. Should be enough for at least a little while. Hopefully enough to give us some more... Um, more resources, essentially. Let's see... Oh, you need more fuel, of course. There we go. me iron oxide let's put 
cancels out some of these inserters. And inserters, of course, needs power. There we go. Nice. This should hopefully get us started with some iron production. Now we just need to flush this for a little while until we have our new pipes set up. There we have some coal. Some iron oxide. Let's see, that one should have an inserter there. Yes, this should be good. 20 iron oxide! Woohoo! That's exactly what we need actually. Because these 20 gives us 10 iron plates. That's awesome. And I mean real iron plates, high quality. Perfect stuff. Oh boy. I have a feeling that some of those iron plates will be used for an underground pipe here in the near future. Because we do need that tar don't want to waste that very precious resource uh, still more wood here to be used I do know that this is kind of wasting my wood a little bit but I really need to get started with the iron and it's probably gonna take a while before I need all that wood anyway so oh my Oh boy, this is not good. But it should be fixable. Oh damn. I have a lot of seaweed right now. This should be fixable quite easily. Um, simply by refueling this one manually with our coke. Now, let's see, let's put in a lot more of that, why is this one not emptying, oh of course, now that should fix that problem, so things are almost looking to be automated right now. Right, more inserters and stuff. Let's steal that seaweed actually. So there we go. And I need three more inserters. And for that I need uh, just a little bit more iron. Which we should have enough of now. There we go. And now I of course need some more seaweed. Which I luckily have plenty of here. Things are actually starting to look better for us in terms of iron. In terms of copper we just have to do with what we have. Oh boy. Did I use up all that iron? Or all that wood? Of course I did. Of course I did. 
I saw iron doing. No iron here. Need more seaweed. Good thing that seaweed. Oh, good. I have a little bit of wood there. And I can use that wood to create some more iron plates. No. Power poles. And actually, let's connect this one again. Because we need these logs so that we can get more wood. This is quite a bit of copper ore actually. And iron ore, that's good. Really good. Please have some iron. Yes, more iron. And with that iron we shall create some transport belts mostly. There we go, now that is automated. Now we just need to fix these belts. And an inserter there of course. Okay, three more belts. Shouldn't be too hard. Now is our landfill production doing. Yay! Lots of sand. Let's resume the stone processing. Creation. Let's hope we can get some of this really nice iron oxide. Oh, right, we need, we need an underground belt there. So iron oxide is produced in this machine and in this machine, luckily not in this. And then the iron oxide is put into this furnace and put in this chest, the result. So I don't have any filtering for belts and I will not have that for quite a while. So I have to use an inserter here that basically takes all the items it can get which in this case is coal and iron oxide and the rest it puts in this chest because it just continues down the belt this works like a charm and we need some more seaweed to get some more iron here that simply by creating another temporary pipe over there so that this machine can process without the tar being locked up because we need this machine to get some more iron seaweed there we go should hopefully be enough to give us 
our next batch of iron. Yay, we're getting to iron oxide from there. Woohoo! Actually, while waiting for that iron, we can maybe make some progress with this iron. iron great should help fix this process now I just need to fix some underground pipes which hopefully should not be too difficult oh oh power problem Let's refill with some coke. This one really has a lot of tar in it. Let's build another one of those. As soon as we get this underground pipe working it will empty itself. that half an hour already and not that much of progress has been made besides the fact of course that we can just make 340 landfill right now woohoo that might actually be enough for one of these although that costs six iron I think I just want to get this underground pipe working. We need to be careful with the copper though. 7.5 copper. Well I guess we can save that for now. 400. We have more than 400 copper. That's great. That will be very useful. <sighs> My god. seem to be requiring a lot and lot and lot of uh, seaweed for this. But I kinda already knew that. So how are we in terms of iron? We have yeah, we need 14 more iron, so that's two processes of this. So let's take a look at if we have some iron over here, maybe? We do a little bit. We still have some scrap copper. Okay, let's use that up. Iron. Great. This should help. So now I just need five iron plates, which is basically just a little bit more iron oxide. How is our wood doing? Do we have any wood? 60 wood, that's good. Ah, really needs more fuel. I kind of expected that. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh well. Let's see if this one can... How much do you need? You need 10. 
also one more. Though I'm guessing that you're not too happy about this field pipes over here. So let's do like that so that you can process one more. And that gives you some iron oxide, which should give us the iron that we need. Yes, we have iron. There we go. So now this one will work for a bit actually. But this tar that we have loaded up with will probably be emptied quite soon. Yeah. Pretty much like that. Oh, right. We also need steam for that. We're gonna need to manually refuel again. We really need more of these seaweeds and more fuel and more of everything. Well, in this case it's of course the fact that our wood processing is using up quite a bit, I'm guessing. So let's pause that again. So theoretically it's still possible for us I guess to deadlock if we use up all our coal and wood. And I don't really want that to happen. So I will temporarily disable this actually. Because we have quite a bit of landfill now. I will just save some stone for potential emergencies. So this should make sure that we're not using up our steam that quickly. Because that's a quite precious resource at these times. fixed these pipes so now I can remove some of these actually because they yeah 10.8 tar in the system and all of that is probably here so yeah now I think we should just Prioritize getting more seaweed. Just need a little bit more iron for that. That's perfect. I actually have almost enough for two rounds of of seaweed producers that's nice so let's actually make that one here I need a little bit more stone see I knew it was good to save some stone for emergencies need some more iron Need 30 stone. How many of these can I make? Okay, let's make it like that. And 
then I need a little bit more iron and a little bit more stone. That's the stone. And see how our iron production is doing. Ah, should be getting a batch of iron here soon. this one again. Hopefully it will not be spent up too quickly at the moment. This uh, machine over here, the big producer of things, that's basically our main power consumption at the moment tops up at one well it tops up at 310 kilowatts or something like that and the more of these seaweed producers we have the more power this will drain yeah 310 so on average it's using like 190 when it's active for one batch over five seconds. Oh, iron. All right, I have two of these. Now let's see, do I have any? I might actually need a little, little, little bit more wood and or um, sand. No stone. Stone. So 208, that's 416 for two of them. This should be enough. Oh, damn. Have I forgot to go? Oh, this is good news. Wonder how many of you have caught that and realized that problem. I completely forgot about that. Oh well. That's one, and there's another. Oh damn. Ah, should be okay. Alright, we also need some more pipes, of course. Can't farm these without water. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get some more pipes, aren't I? Of course I am. Oops, no power, no power, very much no power. Definitely no power. Uh, do we have some up here? We do. Let's use that. Give us power. Slow inserter. So I think the rest of this episode might just go to increasing seaweed production. Maybe possibly we can work our way on getting some more of these machines that we're gonna need for the red science. But many of them require lots of iron, lots of uh, copper, lots of stone which we don't really have that much of. But this should be enough in terms of iron pipes, I'm guessing. So let's go over here and 
give the last one some water. Perfect. All right. They can't take stuff out at the moment because they don't have any inserters or belts. So we're gonna need some iron for that. This is nice. This inserter can't keep up at the moment. So let's add another one here. How is our power doing? Not too good. Should hopefully be fixed soon. Now this is just using up a lot of cached seaweed. But I think our iron plate production. Yeah, now we're actually getting some. Well, I wouldn't call it steady, but we're getting some periodic outputs of iron plates, which is really nice compared to using these low quality iron plates to make real iron. So this is good. Good news, fantastic news, tremendous everything. I need two of those and a brown see it that far away can I? Uh, around 26 of transport belts I think. There we go now they are at least using up that seaweed. Some more coke that's good. And iron. Yay! This should be enough belts for one of those machines, but it's kind of annoying running back and forth, so I will just wait until I have enough belts for the other one as well. Should basically be... Uh, one batch of iron might not be enough. I'll just go and grab the, the seaweed that has cached up in this. That's one. And almost two. Plenty of sand, that's nice. Not so much stone though. Refill our fuel again. Eventually I will want, of course, this to feed into here automatically. Although I might move this a bit, the boiler here, a bit far east so that we don't have to drag a belt too far. Oh, we have quite a bit of ore here as well, so let's use that up too while we're at it. That 
this leaves us with 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Hooray! Maps scored again. Save some of that seaweed for a uh, seaweed facility, and yeah, uh, getting that seaweed facility started. So let's see, we're gonna need quite a bit more stone for landfill, and of course, more iron. So I think we don't have much choice but to get this started again. 90 wood, that's good, always something. to start another row of these which then means oh that's nice I actually have some water over there almost too good so we we'll just get that water over there and yeah wait a minute Right, should be there. That's good. It's very good. And, uh, yeah, it's I was thinking, oh, maybe this will uh, run out of water. What if that happens? But then I realized that, right, they're using 200 water over. 42 seconds approximately, so it should be good. No risk in running out of water anytime soon. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yay, I think we're gonna get some more iron now. Yay! You see, this this process is really great for iron. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. Uh, maybe we should actually fix some more. Well, the problem is that the landfill production needs steam steam needs fuel fuel needs seaweed so I think it's probably the best choice right now to further increase the seaweed before we increase the landfill although the problem is that once we have enough seaweed we don't need the landfill so it's a tough question about what to prioritize really. Yes. So 
hopefully we have a bit of cash. Yeah, 35, not too bad. about one of these machines. Can we make glassworks, high pressure furnace, moss farm? Yeah, not moss farm. Not quite there yet. Um, glassworks. 46 iron, come on. Damn. High pressure furnace. 18 iron, okay. I think I want to create one of these actually. Because I'm hoping it might have some useful recipes. So we're gonna need some stone. So now we have used up all our scrap. Means it's time to shoot this chest. There we go. Because this scrap is basically only useful for uh, copper plates. I don't really feel like I need this ash. I don't even know if I can ma make a burner. Probably not. Nope. Titanium. I don't even know how to get titanium. Titanium ore. Yeah, of course. How do I get titanium ore? Titanium rock. Oh. It's probably one of those uh, huge thingies that are out there in the world somewhere. Oh my god. Titanium enriched biomass. Jaidos? Tailings I can get quite easily, but Jaidos? What's the. Oh my god. Oh my god. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different ingredients. And that's just. Yeah, I mean, this is not even like a science pack or a satellite or anything. I think in, in Vanilla Factorio you have a maximum of. I think it's six ingredients in the rocket silo and the satellite. But this is Pianodon and Pie Block, so here it's these things are normal, you know. I mean come on. I've, I've lost count already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 ingredients for a complex circuit board. And I bet this is not even the most complicated one. Oh, dear lord. What have I gotten myself into? I'm thinking this is like more of a 2021 project or something. This is gonna have last for a while. Oh, we're out of out of power again. Then I guess it's definitely gonna last a while. No progress without power. I think I saw a bit of iron there. Yes, so let's see. High pressure furnace. How much iron do I need? 18.7. I'm almost there actually. Um, I think I can use that. There we go. High pressure furnace. Don't I have no? I don't have enough stone. I do not have enough stone. This should help me have enough stone. Right, I have that 
this, I can remove this tag now. Not sure what else we should put up there though. Uh, let's see. No, maybe we have it. Yes. So let's see how much space this one takes. I have a feeling it will be a hard time to fit it. Maybe possibly over here. Oh wow, wasn't too large actually, just 5x5. Five five. Nickel ore and a bunch of stuff over here. Carbon dioxide, sodium alginite, cellulose, okay. Wondering if I can maybe find some better um, actually this mod even has a list of item fuel values here. Oh boy, we're out of power again. Bio container biomass. Coal, coal dust, coarse coal. Sounds useful. Degrit, oh my god. I'm guessing though that those take a while to Use drill head fiber. You can burn fish. Seriously, fish has a power of one mega joules. That's interesting. Fuel rod. Damn, that sounds nice. Meat log, nuclear fuel, raw coal, solid fuel. Okay. Yeah, I'm really not sure what uh, fuel source we will be using eventually. For now, we're stuck at coke. Uh, so let's see, that was the high pressure furnace. So glass works or moss farm. Let's see, we can scratch these ones out because those are quite easy. This one we have a bunch of, this one I ignore for now. Just having one of each is enough for me for now. Pulp mill, high pressure furnace, glass works we have down there, assembling machine. I don't even think I can make it an assembling machine. Microorganism mine. What the fuck? Research center, glass works, microorganism mine. For incubated petri dish. Microorganism mine. Oh boy, glass. Okay, so this one I will essentially need a glass works first before I produce one of those. And glass works, I don't really have at the moment, and why this, does my paint things disappear? Uh, glass works, moss farm, pulp mill. Okay. Oh boy, 137 iron. That's nice. That's uh, gonna take a little bit, but hopefully we should get there soon. And let's see what else. Research center. Oh boy. It's 622 copper. That's gonna take a while. So let's see how much copper ore we are, are producing. 7.6 per minute recently. Oh, 9.2 per minute maybe. Yeah, let's say 9.2 per minute. Uh, but the problem is that eight of th we need 8 of these to make one copper plate. So we're 
basically producing just a little bit more than one copper plate per minute. So this research center, if we just think about from where we are now at 434, we're gonna need like about 200 more. So that's like three hours. <sighs> Assuming we don't use any of our copper plate, but of course we are gonna use some more copper plates because basically I think the fastest way to this is to produce more, more, more seaweed. Although this is 7.5 per minute. So let's see, 7.5 times 8, that's 60. So we need 60. Uh, ores. We need 60 ores to produce. What is this now? Oh my god. We need 60 ores, copper ores, to produce one seaweed crop facility. So let's see. Right now we have eight of them. And yeah, basically. Okay, so. Is this accurate? That's it. Okay, so eight of them apparently produces, oh right, eight per minute. Uh, so 60 divided by eight, yeah, that's 7.5. So it basically takes 7.5 minutes, I'm guessing, if my mathematics is correct here, for one seaweed farm to pay its own costs, basically. That's actually not too bad. That's not too bad at all. I think that will be our main goal right now. To just increase, 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 increase and even more increase. Oh boy. Is that doing? It's doing pretty good. Getting ourselves some more band fill in order to expand. I would like to just get this new area started a little bit. Great thing about this is that now I can sort of see how much space it will need. Uh, so give us some more iron pipes. Eventually I will want to automate this processing as well. It's a bit tricky though since it's producing both copper and iron. Oh, not even a good amount of iron. 75% Okay, so we're not always getting iron ore Which means that we can't put inserters in a way that always removes them in a good way Like systematically, it, there will be some randomness involved But oh well, what can you do? Uh, so there we have one of those, we have that, we have that, I think we're... Okay, let's make us an inserter first. Or two. Then I'm gonna need some more seaweed to get this production started, of course. There we go. There we go. Yay! Hooray! More seaweed. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm guessing that's basically what we're gonna do for a while. Uh, increase our seaweed production. So, this recording has been for one hour now. Which means it's time to run things off for this episode. So let's just put a little bit more of this coke into this. There we go. Great! See you in the next episode!